हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 3.5 चैप्टर नंबर 3 रिवर्सिबल एंड इरिवर्सिबल प्रोसेसेस फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनामिक्स बाय वीडियो स्टॉप एंड कंकी स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम इज 0.05 क्यूबिक मीटर ऑफ अ परफेक्ट गैस at 6.3 bar undergoes a reversible isothermal process to a pressure of 1.05 bar calculate the heat supplied first of all uh, we will write the given data so initially if we sketch the pv diagram for isothermal process and especially in this case this isothermal process is expansion process so this is state 1 and this is state 2 the direction of arrow will be downward as shown in the figure at state 1 we have specific volume r volume and it is 0.05 cubic meter also at this state we have pressure p1 and it is 6.3 bar and at state 2 the pressure decreases during expansion process and it becomes 1.05 bar we are required to find only one quantity in this problem and that is the heat supplied q starting the solution we know that for an isothermal process for a perfect gas when t1 is equal to t2 for that case specific internal energy or internal energy at state 1 and state 2 will be also equal to each other meaning that u1 will be equal to u2 or small u1 will be equal to small u2 so the non flue equation will become q plus w is equal to 0 because the difference in specific internal energy or internal energy is 0 So this is the isothermal process non flue equation also if we write the expression for the work done already derived in the text of the book so the final expression for the work done for an isothermal process for a perfect gas is w is equal to p1 v1 natural log of p2 by p1 Here P1 is the pressure, initial pressure at state one. V1 is the volume at that point, and P2 is the pressure at state two, and P1 is again the pressure at state one. So, just putting the values in this expression, P1 is 6.3 bar. Bar will be converted to Pascal, so we will multiply to the power of pi. v1 is 0.05 cubic meter natural log of p2 and p2 is 1.05 bar and p1 is 6.3 bar so simplifying this 
we get the value which is 54 56.4 kilojoule with minus sign so putting this w in the non fluid equation for isothermal process suppose this is expression a so expression a will become q plus w and w is minus 56.4 kilo joule and it is equal to 0 so simplifying this q is equal to 56.4 kilo joule so this is the required solution of problem 3.5 thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos